In this video, we're gonna create some colorful cinematic lighting setups using the brand new Aperture Amaran 150C and Amaran 300C. These lights are simple, versatile, and colorful, and they're a great way to enhance your video content or shoot some cinematic movie-inspired portraits. Lighting is an extremely important aspect of photography, more than expensive cameras or expensive lenses. And to prove that, we're gonna also shoot on some less expensive lenses and some less expensive lights, like this Aperture MC Pro and the original Aperture MC. But if you wanna see any of that camera gear or this brand new MC Pro, the 150C or the 300C, make sure you check out all the links down in the description below. So big thanks to Aperture for making this video possible and providing us with these lights so that I could show them to you. And if you want to see more videos like this, where we do a breakdown of some new products and some photography techniques, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the description below. But for now, let's check out some of the specs of these new lights. The 150C and the 300C from Amaran are both RGB WW Cobb LED monolights. That means that the front chip is made up of red, green, blue, cool white, and warm white LEDs. Now, if you take a look at the overall form factor, it is similar to the 100 and the 200 series, except it kind of extends it a bit. So when you look at the back, you still have this two button setup, except the intensity dial, if you push it in, will now switch between a CCT or a color temperature mode and a hue and a saturation mode. So the left dial allows you to change intensity in the CCT mode, you now have the ability to adjust green and magenta. And again, that's because we have those extra chips for both a, a green or a magenta tint. You have the same effects that were available in the 100 and 200 series, except it's expanded now for all of the color options. The power switch has gone from the back of the unit and is now on the bottom of the unit. And it now comes with a foam carrying case. So if you're familiar with the 60D and the 60X, those kind of came with this styrofoam case that you could carry the whole thing in. That case was super tight and super small. And if you had to kind of repack it, it was extremely difficult. Like you could never repack it in the same way. That is not a problem with this case. This case is much more forgiving on the interior. You have a compartment that is dedicated just to the power supply. You have a reflector, which looks very similar to the reflector from the 100 and the 200 series, except now it's in the gray color to match the housing. And of course you have the space for the light itself. When I first started testing these lights, the one thing that came to my mind was John Wick or Blade Runner or any of these movies where they have these really strong colored hints of lighting inside the scene, which ultimately became the inspiration for the types of photos that I wanted to shoot with these lights. So for camera settings, I've set my ISO to 1600 because it's a little bit dark and we're dealing with color. Ideally, I don't want to go any higher than that. So, you know, between 400, if we have more light, maybe 1600 at the max. And then in terms of my white balance, it's 5600 Kelvin. For my shutter speed, because our subject isn't moving, I can use a slightly slower shutter speed. So I'm using one over 160. Some of the shots, maybe I can shoot that a little bit faster at one over 200. Now this lens is a 1.8 lens, but if I shoot my portraits at 1.8, sometimes they'll be too out of focus. Like you might get the eye, but then the nose is slightly blurry or the back of the ear is blurry. So we're gonna boost that, maybe shoot it at 2.8, maybe 3.5, maybe F4. But in terms of lighting, we're using the 300C as our fill light, but let's turn that off. And this is what the default lighting looks like with no color. So we have the 200XS as our key light with the light dome, and that's just gonna provide an, an amount of ambient light for our subject so that they're not too dark. And then the first light we're gonna introduce is actually the 300C. And we've set that to blue and put another softbox on it. The nice thing with the softbox is it's gonna give us a wash in the background, but it's also, because of where we've got it placed, is providing a little bit of a fill on our subject so that the left side of her face is blue, but then to offset that, we wanna use color contrast. So over here, we have the 150C set up to a yellowish orange 
to offset that. And what that's gonna allow us to do is have our subject pop off the background. And when you take a look at some of the footage, this side of our subject's face will have that little bit of a pop so that, again, they're separated from the background and we're introducing that color into our portraits. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> and this over here. So we've set up this black reflector as a negative fill, and that's for two reasons. One is because we have ambient light coming in from the end of the studio. So there's a lot of light coming from that direction and we don't want it to spill on our model. So to have control, We've set this up and that also cuts down on some of the orange light spilling out too far. We're kind of like all keeping it within this general area. So let's shoot some photos. The 150C and the 300C physically are the same size. They both look identical other than the number on the outside and the fact that the 300C, the power brick, is slightly bigger. Both of these are bigger than the 100 and the 200 series. So keep that in mind if you're looking at adding these to your existing collection of Amaran lights. The build quality is what we'd expect from an Amaran product. It's both a mix of plastic and metal components. It's metal where it matters, where things are gonna be a little bit more abused, like at the bottom mount, that whole thing where you attach it to the light stand is metal. You also have an umbrella holder on there, like the 100 and the 200 series. And then the whole front assembly with the Bowens mount adapter is metal. So if you're worried about attaching like a slightly larger softbox diffuser or larger, heavier accessories, that is gonna be heavier and a little bit more durable so you can handle that. The back of it does have two handles, which again, it's a bigger light, so it makes it a little bit easier to handle. And then on the top, the Bowens mount release is now recessed, whereas previously it was this little metal knob that stuck out. It's now this flat recessed plastic piece. I will say because it's a little bit bigger, it does feel a little bit smoother when you're activating it. Whereas I found on the 100 and the 200 series, you'd have to work it a little bit more. And I know you're already wondering, well, what about the fan noise? So the 300C is going at 100% in the background. It's close to the wall, so it's not really spilling too much, but the fan has been running the whole time. So whether or not you've noticed it, go ahead, let me down. Let me know down in the comments down below. I will say the light is about three or four feet away from me. It's not super close, but I am running the 60D as my main key light for this setup, and I can probably hear that fan more than I can hear the one in the back. So I don't know if that's a testament to the bigger heat sinks on these dissipating heat a little bit better, or maybe the fan is a little bit bigger, but the noise is something that I'm personally not gonna be worried about. If you have any questions about these lights or about settings or about anything that I talked about that you maybe you want a little bit more information on, leave that in the comments down below. YouTube now has a feature where I can go in and I can directly reply to your comments with a YouTube short. So this is super cool. I've already done it a few times with some of my past videos, but if enough of you thumbs up a comment and you wanna know more about it, I will directly respond to that with a YouTube short. Here's a second lighting setup. It's more of a split lighting, but we've kept all three lights. So if I take you over here, we still have the key light. That's providing an overall level of ambient illumination. We've white balanced for that 5,600 Kelvin light. Then we've got kind of a fill light, but it's almost like a secondary key light because of how bright it is. That's providing a level of ambient illumination and color to the front side of our subject. And then if we flip it around, this is our back or our edge lighting that is lighting the back side of our subject. So again, the front side is yellow, the back side is gonna be green, or you can have them face towards the camera so that one side is one color and the other is the other color.
The latest pricing information for both of these lights will be linked down in the description below. Right now, the Amaran 150C is priced very similarly to the Amaran 200XS. So if you're already someone who is looking at that light because it has the bicolor cool and warm function, and maybe you want something that is a little bit more versatile because you want to add some color, I think a lot of people are going to be interested in the 150C specifically because now it adds that color feature. One advantage with the 150C is that you can now set that green and magenta tint, but it also has an expanded CCT range. So the 200XS goes from about 2700 Kelvin up to 6500 Kelvin, but both of these have a little bit larger of a range. So they go from 2500 Kelvin all the way up to 7500 Kelvin. And then comparing the 150C and the 200X in terms of brightness, the 150C is just a little bit less bright than the 200XS, but not too far behind. So I'll put those numbers on the screen now so you can see what that's like. If you want something that matches the 200XS in terms of brightness or is actually a little bit brighter, that's when you have to step up to the 300C. Now the 300C is about two thirds the brightness of the full size studio grade Aperture 600C, but that light is about four times more expensive. And of course it comes with the control box, which is a consideration either you want DMX features or you don't. Like if you're someone who's got an at-home setup, you probably don't need that control box, in which case the Amaran products with their smaller power brick is gonna be a little bit more manageable for an at-home setup. As promised, I wanted to show that it is possible to get a similar result with a smaller, more affordable lighting setup. So to do that, we replaced the 300C with the MC Pro, attached one of the new magnetic diffusers, and then set the light to yellow. Then we placed the original MC on the left side of the frame behind our subject and set the light to green. Now, the biggest difference between these two setups is the intensity of the light. The larger 150C and 300C spill more light onto the background because they're bigger and they're brighter. The larger lights also have a softbox attached, which helps spread the light more evenly across our model. All of the lights I've talked about in this video, including the brand new 150C and the 300C are compatible with the Sidus Link app. So if you're someone who's looking for a little bit more control, or if you're wondering how to set the effects modes for either of these lights, you'd have to connect it to your smartphone via Bluetooth. You can open the app, you can set custom colors, or you can set patterns, or you can turn the lights on and off. The app does give you more fine grain control. Like on the back of the unit, you can set like 1% 2%, 3%, but if you wanted to go to like three and a half percent, you can actually open the app and have a little bit more control that way. All of these features make these lights a great option for content creators who are maybe looking for one light for their at-home setup that both does white light and colored light, and you can kind of use it in a whole variety of scenarios. And of course, you can use color inside of your video content to add a splash of color and excitement and energy. But maybe you need something that's a little bit more discreet and a little bit more out of the way. In that case, I recommend checking out the Amaran PTC series. I reviewed it last month and you can check out that video here. Remember to leave that comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and until the next one, go shoot photos. <laughs>